Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Racial Science Lover, and welcome back to Kaizen Redux, in which we are doing our economic rehabilitation plan, but right now we've pretty much finished off the war, but the focus must come first. Now where's that economic rehabilitation? It's over here. Established in 1935, during a conference to discuss the sluggish state of the Austrian industry, the economic rehabilitation plan had to be put on halt due to the ongoing economic crisis still in its contents. With slight alterations, describe a good way to combat the disastrous effects of the Black Monday crash and to strengthen the Austrian industry now bereft of the main competitor. But we won't go that way, so we get another research slot. The Vienna Circle is a gathering of the brightest minds of the University of Vienna. Brilliant mathematicians, philosophers, and natural scientists who are at the forefront of scientific and philosophic research. We'll make government funds available to them, but also move their work to new, more practical fields. We've got some comms to go through, but right now, as you can tell, uh, actually, Bulgaria gave up and died. So basically, we're fighting the Belgrade Pact now. And uh, I guess Albania joined the Moscow Accord. But we've actually capitulated. Uh, which, 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 or we're very close. Uh, Fiume is almost gone, which is nice. Which, before I reloaded, or loaded the game back up to start recording again, they were considered a major power for some reason. But Italy's doing okay. They've lost a lot of guys just because it does help when they do attack our lines on occasion. So we're doing relatively okay. And also, like, Fiume will die. So they're 100%. And they will die as they should. Oh, and Fiume's gone. Thank God. I don't understand why they do that, but like I said, wisdom comes. Go through. Goodbye. 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 Please perish and never come back alive. Um, honestly, hmm. Do we do a general attack here? Obviously, we won't be able to do really well against the Serbs, but I want to kill off Illyria first. Fall of Bangkok. Uruguay wins win World Cup, which is nice. Kill these guys off. At least. Oh, well, I guess we took the capital now. Sarajevo would be very nice. Oh, that's Slovenia. That's right. That's right. Um, they took power in Bulgaria, which they did lose, which sucks. But once these guys are done, then we'll take out the Serbs. I guarantee you, we're going to take out the Serbs and do it with some extreme prejudice. Because if you're not doing it with extreme prejudice, what's the point of it? We're all about that racial science. Ah, so good. Now you guys come down here and lay in them. Just, just go straight on in. Excavation is good. It's 1938, my friends. It is July 2nd. So we're doing okay. Get some better guns, some tanks eventually, some of that. Doing okay. Not great, but okay on some of the stuff here. Uh, we're gonna have that stuff. Maybe get some care fighters, maybe eventually. We'll see. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Strike, give concessions. Um, I could like use more stability. Give con some concessions. Actually, if anything, you guys go right here. Cut them off of this division if you possibly can. That'd be great. Get in there, get in there, go, go. Yeah, we got them. Yeah, they died. That's what we like to see. Now, we're not winning against these guys too much. But at least as long as we hold Belgrade, I'll feel pretty okay about it. Nice. This, Skoda? That wouldn't be too bad. Um, research circle would be very nice. Infrastructure, of course, civilian factories. But I think it's more pressing that we go down this way as well. Uh, Aryan spirit of the Austrian worker. And remove the aftermath of Black Monday. Oh, that'd be so good to get rid of. The spirit of the Austrian worker shall stand tall and strong as the purest spirit in history. As taught to us in Liebenfeld's Erosophist writings. It is what keeps us going. The blood flow to Austria is open. Praise thy worker, for they are the true heroes. Yes, absolutely. Sorry, Eva, once we do that, then we'll really focus on these guys. And actually, we're doing okay up here in the north, with Galicia Lulumeria doing quite well for us. Um, since we're here anyways, what do we want? More attack? I don't mind attack. I, I usually like going organization, because that helps us on, on defense and attack, so... I don't mind more attack, but this, this gives lots of pocket section too, so... Save slightly more in fuel, maybe. Um, but I'm glad we got rid of the pirates. I hate those pirates so much. Uh, let's take a look here. We're out of equipment and stuff like that, but for some reason, I did notice. Uh, where did I notice? Look how many guns they have! Look how many guns! How do they have that many guns? That doesn't make any sense. Why do they have so many guns? Why? Right, we'll take a look at all the guns that they have. Because this is ridiculous. Look how many guns we have. 21,000, which is nice. Uh, actually, wait, hold on. It's 98. How do they... They have so many carabiners. We, you saw the depths that we had. They had 24,000 carabins, Lee Enfields, or SF, uh, LS, whatever, rifles. Just, why do they have so many guns? Why? That makes no sense. You guys do this. You guys hold. Um, are you guys losing here? No, you're not winning. That's a problem. Uh, over here, not really winning either. Honestly, if we beat up the Serbs fast enough, we should do okay. So... And that you guys go all the way in now. You guys go in right here. Go all the way down. Oh, do you have any upgrades? Fortress Buster, Scavengers. Go with Fortress Buster. That's fine. 
Um, Eugene von Habsburg. Uh, we could probably wait for that. Wilhelm Zeno. I do know it's ladies. I think in there too. So uh, losses. They lost a lot. Lisa Rodomero is doing a great job. They're doing a fantastic job. You're not allowed to leave, son. You're not allowed to leave. But Austria do be looking a little thicker, which is something very nice. They're done. Mm, Hungarian lands, you say, huh? I wonder, can you pause the Ausgleich if we're still at war? That seems like that would, that should be something that should happen. Nice? Yes. Third International? Uh oh. Pristina? Good. So we get that. That should capitulate them. Well, maybe not. Well, they, well maybe because they don't have cores or not. Uh, nice, yes, nice. or Nis, nice. Serbia die, die Serbia, die, 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 die. Hey, encircled, good, kill them. Actus is nice for Shipperinos. Mm. We're gonna need this one eventually anyway, so we'll do that one now. Keep them in place. Good. Ethnically motivated murder. How terrible. Nice. Couple comments. How dare Kaiser Redux destroy Kaiser Karl's innocence? What if he was never innocent? Ah, who's, who again? Of course he's innocent. Kaiser Karl is good daddy. He's good daddy. Positive daddy. Is that enough to capitulate them? They honestly should not have this. Oh, now they have a core. Okay, I'm like, if that's not a core, that makes no sense why that's a capital. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Capitulate like them. We gotta get down to Greece. Yes! Alright, so this is gonna kinda suck. Uh, I need you guys to come over. Actually, come down here. You guys come down here. Go straight into Greece if we can. We will probably have to navally invade, which is gonna suck. But we do have some ships, though. Which is nice. Which we probably did get hurt pretty badly here, but whatever. And you guys, I don't know how well you're going to do here anyways. Uh, I'd rather capitulate the Romanians very quickly if we possibly could. That'd be good. I'm not sure how fast we can move down here, though. Oh, there goes Siam. Goodbye, Siam. Goodbye. How strong are the Greeks? Two to two divisions, that's not bad. I mean, it's going to be fighting mountains, which is going to be god-awful, but still... Keep him in place. Push into Romania. Romania, you chose poorly. You chose incredibly poorly. You should not have attacked Bulgaria. For you guys, force it. Oh, we're not playing around, man. Ooh. Oh, these planes. I did actually record this once. And then I decided to redo it because it wasn't just going very well for us, so. How much manpower do they have? Oh, not that much. 12, 13,000? We could probably get rid of that manpower. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, are they pushing out at all? No. Hmm. National populace, they have a lot of manpower. Come on, Zayner. Come on. I know it's over river, but still. All the way in. All aboard the train, because once we break over that river, we're spilling into them. How dare you try to beat us up? Good! A six research slot. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I just realized that. Nice, beautiful. Just going good. Get some output. Opposition is offensive. Yes. Opposition to the regime of Lanz von Liebenfels shall be made a crime. The SDAP and the Slovenes have shown themselves to be hateful to our government. That is why they should be killed, hacked away with a holy sword, so that we can all work towards a common goal: prosperity. Good. Oh, we cut them off. Oh, I love the cutting them off. Oh, yes. Convoys? Sink them, sink them, sink them, sink them. Good. Come on. Republicans win Gudik referendum? Well, we're still not going to uh, let you live, so. Mm, we can do that one, but let's go with the construction speed. What are we building? A lot of civvies still. Build some millies. Somewhat. Good. We broke over. Oh, we broke over. This is the end of them. Propaganda leaflets? All right. 
Go, 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 go. Bruh, go down here. Seriously, go right there. Cut them, literally just cut them off. Ah, I see what they're doing. Oh, we cut them off right here too. We can make an encirclement. Ah, syrups are gonna die. Yes. Go here. All right, after that, so we got PhD for the school. Which, we're going down. Which doctrine? Yeah, land, superior firepower. It's probably want more artillery, attack, and defense, and production costs, right? How, how much do we have? We have none. Okay. Yeah, that kind of settles the question then. What else do we have? Infantry, attack, and defense, and more manpower would be very nice. Hmm. Von Schuschnigg? Why not? Uh-oh. Wait, what? Why are they in their hall still? Jeez. It's kind of questionable, but we're flooding through to get to Bucharest. Nice. Xander's doing great. He's really good on attack. You guys are struggling quite a bit here. It's alright. Happens. Do not let up, because we will probably have to naval invade once uh, Romania's gone. Equal rights. Still have the same amount of manpower. Uh-oh. Wait, why are the checks justifying against us? Uh. Oh, crap. Bohemian Revolution. Seriously, bro. You saw what we did to the Slovenes twice. You saw what we did to the Illyrians once. Where the heck is their focus? Oh, there it is. 15 days left. Declares on them. No, why do we go to war with them? No, they declare war on us. Do we not ask? I guess we don't ask Aisha. Huh? Follow Bucharest. Come on, capitulate, 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 capitulate. We don't have time for this. Do we have any divisions in training? Yes, we do. That's good. I'm going to play them. You guys shall be led by Carl. Carl. So you guys need to hurry the heck up. Beat their fortresses if you have to as well. Come on, Xander. How much more do we need to capitulate these guys? This is ridiculous. Go, go, go. Take everything they got. Actually, uh, there goes those guys. Still 30 something. There you go. Seriously? Why do you take so long to kill these guys off? I know it's mounds and stuff, but still. Should be able to hold it, right? One, two, well, hmm. At least 20%, huh? There you go. Get in the line, son. It is relatively laggy. Oh my god, just kill off the Romanians. Why do you take so long? Force it. We don't have time for this. Literally right now. We literally don't have time for this. Go right here. Kill them off. Capitulate these guys. That's such crap. That is such BS. Come on, man. Seriously? This is stupid. You're gonna hold. Whether you die or not. You're gonna hold. Magnet detonators. Come on. Deploy. We gotta deploy them early. Earlier than this. Thank God you... You, oh, you son of a rock suckers. I hate... The Belgrade back so much. You better get here fast. I'm. I will literally kill these divisions off. They will not die here, because you guys are going to focus on Greece now to help murder every single one of these Greek boys. Get here. Go. Keep these guys in place. Keep these guys in place. Hello. Come on. My God. There's so much lag. Uh. You guys. Yes. Come on in too. We need you. We definitely need you here immediately. Any good support? Good. I'm going to kill every last check off if I have to. They all die, then so be it. Good. Every single last Greek has to die. Come on, you take so long to kill divisions off. It's pathetic. It's incredibly pathetic. 
Did we at least make it to the line? We somewhat did. We did not lose Vienna yet. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was so close. We actually lost the tank division. That's fine. Whatever. Nice. Ooh, I'm glad we got there, man. The All Austrian Armed Forces, for some time, Slovenes, were allowed to serve in the army, but that shall be swept away with this. Now, now only Austrians and Germans who have pledged allegiance to the Liebenfels will be permitted into the rank soon. Enough. We'll be able to conscript most of this empire as they will be regarded as Austrians. If they're not Austrian, then why do they live in the Austrian Empire? We get a bonus against them, too. Pretty good. We got lucky that we got here in time. Oh, my goodness. Actually, if you want to go right there, that's fine with me. Start thinking about cutting them off. Where are you going? No, 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 no. You get your pansy booty back here. You wanted this, Chex. You wanted this god dang mess. And I swear, we will... Wait, what? Wait, what do you mean fall of Vienna? What? No. That's fired for no reason. That literally fired it for no reason. Go in. Go in. Go in. Everyone go in. Kill every last Czech person you see off. Do not discriminate. Every single enemy you face must die. Well, I thought we'd have to nearly invade Greece, but hey, luckily we don't. Um, we're return on Hungarian lands? Nope. Good. Ah, finally. We'll see if we can release these guys, so. Um, regarding these Romania, I don't mind rewarding some of our friends, but whatever. There's been a lot of war in the first couple years here. You guys come over to here. Nice. Not bad. Feel wise, we're doing okay, hopefully. Every last check has got to die. They should have time to look sooner than that. We should have more than enough guns, though, right? Yep. And we're relatively okay on uh, artillery. Ish. Well, Beijing. All right. Get them off from the capital. That'd be good. I mean, we lost seventeen thousand. Uh, we killed thirty-four thousand, which is good so far. We should have air superiority already for these guys, but you know, never know what the plans are up to. Go in. Come on. Don't lag so hard. Come on. Uh, this engine. It's old, decrepit army mutiny. Oh boy, that's not good. Go, come on. Congress of Haifa, return of the MOJ. As one of the signatories of the Jerusalem Accords in 1920, we've kept a representative on the International Council of the MOJ ever since. Recent events in Palestine, however, have called the peace powers back together to decide over the future of the international zone as the entire region wages a war, look at that, against international gendarme, tasked with the security. Thinly stretched forces, limited resources, and aggressive moves from both the sublime port and the Egyptians are threatening its future as a committee tasked with researching its sustainability has given a negative report. Many in our own administration are questioning its continued existence. We should not withdraw. Abolish MOJ. Hmm. I don't really care. Hmm. Do we have to fight him? Eh, we won't withdraw. Why not? There you go. You keep the pressure up, they will not be able to move. Nice. Honestly, kill these guys off. We'll go this way. How much blood do you want? How many checks do you want to die? Because they should be... How do they have so much equipment? I don't understand. How do they have so much infantry equipment? This makes no sense. I mean, I get it's like this group, but still. We're in the desert. Nice. This literally makes no no sense. What what are the devs been doing? Like giving just these people so much infantry equipment. Oh, 
Bob. We'll go join them, huh? And we'll release them as soon as this war's over, hopefully. In about 30 days? Not bad. We're not going to stop the attacks. We cannot afford to stop the attacks. Zanzibar. Anything here? No, we're still good. Still a lot of green. It's nice. We like the green. Come on. Oh my god, it's lagging so hard. Oh, I can see my spinning mouse wheel, too. Oh, come on. No one cares. No one cares that Middle Africa died. It's the Indian National Revolution. Ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Why do the devs give him so much infantry equipment? This makes no sense why we're losing. It literally makes no sense. I mean... A lot of losses, though. At this point, at what point do you say we're going to put these people in camps? Hmm. Oh, happy. Oh, it's almost 1939. Nice. I want to win at least here first before we stop the attacks. Win here at least. Single Japanese Santa War. Yes, very nice, very nice. Well, not bad. Constituent officials denounce Liebenfels. Now they've done it. This boycott has officially announced or denounced the Liebenfels administration despite the knowledge that he is disliked abroad. Nearly every representative agreed with a speech clapping, a thing that had not been done to Liebenfels' speeches. That'll be a regrettable decision. But right now, uh, we've stopped the attacks for the most part, except right here, just because we're going to cut these divisions off and continue killing them. They, uh, I don't know what's wrong with it, with like with the dads. I don't know what, like, check, the check need to get some sort of buffs, but look at all the national spirits they have. They get a lot of buffs. That's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. I mean, they, the Czechs are doing pretty well for themselves, but, like, bro, seriously. Uh, the emblazoned patriotism, which does expire eventually, not soon enough, though. All Czech armed forces, they have head intelligence, which is normal. A legacy of the coronation, which, honestly, if, if they rebel, they shouldn't have this. They really shouldn't have this at all. So, and then they have Black Monday, but that doesn't really matter too much. But, yeah, this, this is ridiculous. It's kind of ridiculous, not going to lie. I don't like this. I think it's kind of stupid here. It really goes China doing Chinese stuff. Um, maybe you can help him out. I know it's not just... Ah, oh, there you go. Good, good, good. Sacrifice those three divisions. Sacrifice those seven divisions. And they'll do a, a huge major attack against these guys once both these pockets are down and destroyed, so... Oh, they're attacking us, huh? Nice. Good. And we are doing the All Austrian Armed Forces. And the Vatalan under one. This is the last draw for the constituents. They are furious, but it's for the greater good. German West Hungary. German South Moravia became controller of German... Oh, both places. The austro hungarian Empire needs a strong leader, and that shall be Lanz von Liebenfels, chairman of the Austro-Russia Aerosophische Einheitspartei. United from Vienna to Prague to Zagreb to Budapest to Lemberg, he shall rule by his own will, but more than Liebenfels, the empire will be Austria, a good but pure Aryan Austria. Wait, what? Wait, what? What happened here? Wait, why did we peace out? What? No, no, we're going straight back in. I'm not, no. That, there's no way. No, absolutely not am I going to tolerate something like this. Alright, so here's the thing. I thought this was something else, but this is a treaty of Prague. Unable to defeat, force the Czechs into surrender. The exhausted Austrians admit defeat. Yeah, no. I'm not, I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm not for that. That is stupid, and that shouldn't happen under an administration like Liebenfels. That is complete BS. Now, unless there's something here that lets us take them out, I'm going to just annex them. I'm not going to deal with this. Uh, no and no. So, you know what? So be it. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to annex them. We're going straight back to war. It, it, it doesn't make any sense. It makes literally no sense. Why would we peace out with them? After everything we fought in four? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, that makes no sense. Am, 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 I, am I the crazy one here? I'm not going to... We're not going to do this like this. Like, there's no way this administration would do something that stupid. I don't care if we take a penalty to anything else. But that's crap. That's absolute crap. I'm not going to... We would not peace out with these guys. There's no way. Absolutely no way we would peace out. I'm sorry that I use God's commands, but this pisses me off. This pisses me off a lot. And we also have the fate of Perot, but you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. There's, there's definitely a lot of decisions in Kaiser Redux that I just cannot agree with. And this is one of them. Just peacing us out. 
Hell no. Hell no. After they declare war upon us? No. Absolutely not. Force the attack. I want you to force it. I want them to die. Fortress Buster. I don't care. I don't care how many men die. I really don't. United Front forms. So be it. If the devs want, you know, checks to cheat, so be it. Whatever. Uh, let's get some more fuel. Probably could use that, honestly. That'd be good. There's no way that Liebenfels would give up. Especially when our national populace Ultra National Armed Forces. Uh, do that one. That's fine. More stability for now. Good. Cut them off. As they all should die. Now we're back here once again. I don't understand why the game would just force us to do that. I mean, yeah, you got to give it to the Czechs maybe a little bit, but like, if they are the ones who declared a revolution, then they are the ones who need to finish the war. We would not peace out with them. That makes no sense. I just go there. Give them all these buffs for like no reasons. <sighs> Come on. Give them all this equipment too for literally no reason. <sighs> uh, I guess to go up there maybe. Just gonna go around him. Good, kill them every single one of them off. Thirty-two thousand now. Oh, that's only hundred eighty-three thousand. Yeah, that's a bunch of crap. It's just a bunch of crap. I want every check detail. Also, like, off screen, like, I forgot uh, that to release puppets, so I forgot about that. Huh. I was so much more focused on this war here. Thank you, German Empire. What the heck? German Bohemia? Uh. Why did they pop out? Planned conflicts? You know, I do have to play as a Czech Republic sometime, but sorry, I'm not interested in, in the AI cheating. So, um, yeah, the Fatherland under one, that'll be good. Oh, so we do get this one, and we do get that one too, probably. Salo, sure, my here. Every single one of them's got to die. Goringa, nice. It is 1939, though. Everyone, hope you're having a great, great year. Let's get some more engineers because we are going to need them. Oh, did the Poles come here? No. Oh, let's keep, oh, they're the King of Bohemia now. What? I don't understand. I just don't understand this. Sometimes, guys, Redux just does not make any sense sometimes. Grand Army Battle Plan? Anti Goring Pact? Anything there? Anything there? Anything there? No, 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 no. Perot? What does this one say? Uh, the small state of Prose is no under control. We must decide what to do with it. Go into the Kingdom of Bul Bulgaria? No, they joined the other group. They joined uh, the uh, Russians, so no. Kill every last... Why, why, would they, why, why do they have so many guns? I, I know they've... What the hell is this? Why does this still exist? Why are they an Imperial Satellite? Material business, though. Huh. Yeah, when the when the game cheats, then we just have to cheat back. That's it. That's literally it. Fall of Hong Kong. Well, let's see what happens out of this focus. I'm honestly disappointed in this this campaign so far. Why does it have to be like this? Uh, go with artillery. That's fine. Let's put another group on there. Uh, actually. I don't know. Are the Hungarians going to rebel? Because it's already 39. I, I, I don't know. Oh, Carl, welcome back. Um, do we need to get ready for someone else to rebel? Do, are we, do we need to get ready for the game to cheat once again? <laughs> Questions you got to ask yourself, like, what's going on? <laughs> 39, get some medium tanks. That's good. Uh, anything else up here? Probably going to leave us. So how do we know when we're closer to collapse? How many guns do we have, actually? We have 400,000 guns! That's ridiculous! Why? Why? Uh, I'm going to take that off, too. We could probably use the fuel. Go and train if you need to. 
I'm going to be out of fuel anyways. I'm probably just going to annex these guys. I don't know that we need to or not, so... I want to see what happens with the fatherland under one first. But it's really greater good. We get more national popular support. But after that one... Rufus Creek's going to remain technical union. Gabon's joined the Entente. New KUK army. More organization's nice. Not super necessary, but... Catholic features. Oh. That's nice. It's very nice, actually. Give the Kaiser the boot. I'll replace Karl von Habsburg with Otto von Habsburg. Major daily political power. Um... We got a lot more stuff. Okay. Ein... Trusha Glit dem Kanzler. Disables the possibility of a total collapse. Uh, before it's, before the collapse be update. Okay. Huh. Got mit uns. Set base wars for 100%. Declare the Girls Osterreichisches Reich. Huh. Call the communist menace. Catholic features. Well, it seems like we should go this way so we don't get overthrown, so. The Kaiser attempts to win back our trust, but is of no use to us. He supported the ousting of our government, and that is unforgivable. <clears throat> Especially for the man that lost all credibility with God, and he will pay the price for proceeding with such a horrendous act. Pretty much. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the game devs were thinking. Like, I'm sorry, guys, right devs, but just. Why does everyone produce so many guns? We didn't produce any guns. We could barely produce any guns. Yeah, look at all the guns we got. That doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense. And why do we have to peace out with the checks? Why do they get so many buffs? They're very industrious people. But, like, holy crap. Especially when you throw your entire army at them. Makes no sense. We could return to Hungarian lands. Which one are they? Uh, do they want to grab and such? I mean, that is pretty bad. Yeah. Strike. Uh, Cornell unites you know, Russia. Cool. Cease immediately or else. We'll do that one. How can we see what percentage we're at for a collapse? Because obviously I don't want to collapse. But. Vienna Circle. Carl. I mean, Carl is pretty good. We did get more political power than I think with Otto, though, which is nice. Oh. I hope it's not copyright claimed. Because sometimes I literally cannot show things if things are copyright claimed. So, yeah. Uh, tanks? I'll show them to the constituents. Representatives uh, from the Austrian Empire were given a speech to attempt to assuage their fears about Liebenfeld's new radical government. The representatives fidgeting with anger, fidgeted with anger as we preached our esoteric Catholic way to them. As Liebenfeld preached about zo theozoology, the ape-like races, and the necessity for air and purity, it was met with attentive stares. Actually, wait, they don't look too happy. Oh, they leave the room. Oh, no. Amen? And a true guilt them Chancellor. Your loyalty to the Chancellor, only the Chancellor. Ah, there we go. So I was wondering when that's going to happen. You know, I wish there was the game telling us what's going to happen here. Because it just seems, like, just random. It just seems absolutely random. And I don't like that. I hate that so much. Like, maybe we should know about everything going to happen, but, like... It, it just feels too random. It's just too random for my tastes. Like, I'm here to study racial sciences. I'm uh, getting my doctorate in racial science. Uh, and this is... This ain't it, man. We can call this group in. I, I might just annex them later on. Well, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Seems just very messy. I'm gonna take a piece of territory. There you go. Go on in, guys. Just don't lose uh, Vienna. Hey, get some more fuel back. That's good. Oh, so as soon as we start attacking, they start going, showing up too. Okay. Let's talk about the Hungarians. They did help us out quite a bit. They're probably pretty strong. I'm going to assume that they have like a 400,000 guns in reserve, probably. Evidence Bureau. So far, so good, though. I mean, our guys are. I mean, their guys should be experienced too, but our guys are pretty experienced as well. Hey, but we are ran some divisions. Nice. I like that. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty decent to me. Gyar. Um, Greasy Lord of Mary, of course, as well, so we'll see what happens. If we win generally, that'd be good, but, you know. Oil processing is very nice. Um, yeah, I, I apologize once again for, like, using cons commands, but, like, the game cheats, or cheats us. I'm going to cheat him right back, so. Fair is fair. Jorg Lanz would not surrender. It's foolish to think that he would. Absolutely foolish. Actually, how many would we killed off? 31,000 is not bad. We're losing this part of Romania, but I don't really care. I really don't. If you could be a deer and come this way. 
Are they doing force defense? No, it looks like they were almost though. Boot up past, huh? Once they link up through here, then we can do a normal, like, front line. That's what they call me, yeah, front lines. Aluminum would be nice. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here, actually. Need more rubber, though. That's the one thing we really, 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 really need. <sighs> Dismiss all the involved. If we could break over the river to break over the river to break over the river to get a Buddha Pass, that'd be great. Socialist Republic of Argentina. How many losses? 10,000 versus 81,000? Not bad. Not bad. Breaking over that river. Oh, we overran some more divisions. Nice. Good stuff. Do that. Go to. Oh, actually, go here and do that, actually. I think it's surrounding Budapest, maybe. Buddha and Pest. Oh, Budapest has been surrounded. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And it's been taken. So where's the capital now? Ah, uh, Depression? Well, with whatever the Russians are doing, hope they're doing okay, and they completely leave us alone for a long time. That's all I'm going to say. Hope they leave us alone. Oh, more divisions! Yay! We absolutely need them right now. Come on. Come on. Do something here. We lost 22,000 versus 128,000, which is not enough. Even though know, these guys... Uh, we have an okay amount of artillery. Actually, if anything, I'll throw artillery on these guys. You should be fine with that. Yes, please. We want a few more guns. Convert all infantry divisions now over to this type of template. Oh, we need more support equipment too. Okay. Good to know. 1939, of course. Fuel, and then we'll get some more research speed too. I'll grab that one next, probably. All infantry should be equipped with the proper materials needed to win the war. But man, there's been so much warfare in the first, like, three years of this campaign. Like, this is nuts. Slowly losing against Galicia Lodomeria, but just because Hungary is literally standing in her way. Um, we got Antonis. Wouldn't it be bad? Mm, that's not bad either. We're staying on war economy for now. Uh, Excavation is not bad. Go ahead and grab this. It's fine. It's way too ahead of time, but whatever. Heavy intelligence? Why not? We will upgrade ourselves, and that'll be good. So once we break through here, this should be relatively easy going, maybe? Hey, nice. How about right here? Good. It's weird seeing motorized divisions with that template. Come on, Hungry. You wanted this war. You literally wanted this war. Ooh. I'll let them take one more towel, then we can do that now. Oh! That's a nice! Ooh, that's so nice. Give the poor life in the military? That's not a bad idea. I like that a lot. Austrian federal state looks really... That looks really good. Oh, wait, what? Occupy territories. What do you mean, no garrison? Oh, in the right mind, would have put a garrison in there. What? What? Why? Former department. Nice. Pro Kaiser protest. Booting the Kaiser from the Emperor's ship has caused an eruption of anger in our nation. As many viewed him as the man who saved Austria. Signs are held, flags and banners are flown, and many other signs of an old order waved around under loyal police. Who will back the rage of the city baton? The Kaiser supported the protest himself, denouncing Liebenfels as a tyrannical dictator who steps over his limit. It is without a doubt that the Kaiser must be dealt with. Let's just exile him. Let's just use So everyone else, hold. You guys stop and hold. While well, we're going to go straight for the capital here. So all I want you to do is hold the line. And why in the world would we... Oh, how do we not have manpower now? Seriously? Seriously? It's, part of this campaign are a lot more infuriating than, or frustrating than I thought it would be. Like, this is kind of ridiculous. How frustrating this has been so far. Yeah. Sandra Erler, put down resistance. Why, why, why did the game switch it over to no garrison? 
In what world would we do no garrison? That literally makes no sense. Who designed that? Who designed... <sighs> oh my god, I hate this so much. This has been... This is really frustrating. Why? Why is it this bad? Go and get out so we can cover this entire line too. Let them come in here. Come on, take it, 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 take it. Actually, you guys can probably just go straight that way, actually, when you're done. Come on, take Deva. Oh my god, hurry up. Hurry the heck up. Thank god. Okay, now I can do this. Make it easy on ourselves. There we go. That should be enough, right? No. Oh my god. How is that not enough? I hate this so much. What? Why do the devs make it so incredibly frustrating to do this route? Ball of Manila. Don't worry about attacking for now. We can't afford it. You guys go to here, though. That's fine. Now we gotta save our PP up for more political power so we can uh, get some more manpower. Um, if anything... Attack him here. Where's the capital? Do they have a capital? Well, that's great. They don't have a capital, do they? I don't see one. Hmm. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, thanks, devs. Thanks, guys, right, devs. They're making this incredibly frustrating for no reason. Literally no reason. Hmm. Oh, recovery rate. Good. Let's go down here. And do that. Two rebellions in Slovenia makes no sense. One rebellion is more than enough for this type of campaign. They're the ones who rebelled. Why are they not attacking? Alsace Ultimatum, very cool. Cool. Yep, 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 yep. We're doing okay ish here. As long as we're holding the holding the line. Legation seeds collapse, wow. And if there's something stupid here that says, Oh, you didn't get here and save them in time, I'm just gonna just re go to war with them. I'm not gonna tolerate crap like that. I'm sorry, but no. Well, we have to save them from the Empire. <laughs> like hell we do. Like hell we do. Um, artillery. Just gonna get the next upgrade. It's fine. Better not lose here. Especially mountains. Come on, guys. Seriously. I guess we're getting a good, good amount of PP. Hmm. Some recon? That'd be good. So they're 93%, so we gotta just really focus on those victory points. Is this a core? It is a core, so we should get that one back. Just wanna get through this focus so we don't collapse. Uh, Catholic features, and more stability would be pretty nice, more political power. The country sends the will of God to off those who need it, but it is not sent it to the people alone, and we must rectify this grave mistake. Be good to them, and they will be good to us. God's light will guide us to a better path. Pretty much, man, pretty much. Are they? Are we? Are we taking? Oh. All right, I can, I can, I can, I get on board with that. Just go in. Subsidize syndicalist menace propaganda efforts. Actually, propaganda efforts wouldn't really help us out much right now, would it? Oh, hello. You like attacking, so do I. Mm, maybe you could do well here. 
Maybe. Maybe not. Switching out the line as much as we can. They are really attacking us. We lost quite a few. 70,000. We killed off almost a quarter million Hungarians, though, which is very nice. So, you guys. I don't know why you just. Go around him, man. Go around him. Uh, here. Bait him to attacking us, maybe? Maybe? Hey, a little bit of manpower, and it's gone. Nice. Good. Very good. Uh, Zilla would probably be really bueno to get. Good. Hopefully that we will not collapse now, which I don't know if we will or not, but... Catholic features? Ah, yes. Good. Let's follow up with... Oh, look at, oh yes. Influence the Austrian youth. The Austrian youth have lacked a way to connect with the party in any meaningful way, so... It's time we give them a little bit of influence and set up youth programs for their prosperity. They'll definitely identify as Austrians in due time. Yeah, heck yeah. So is this going to be enough to capitulate them? Honestly, probably not. We're at 94%. Not bad. Could be better, but not bad. I don't know why you guys are taking so long down here. Is it a fort? I know some of you are fighting over rivers. It's a hill. If it force the attack, you should be able to win, right? There you go. See? I don't know why you took so long with that. There you go. Ah. Montana's is moving ahead. So be it, so be it, so be it. We need some rubber. Intervene in the Valkyrie. Oh, man, they are really trying to get that towel from us. But they can eat a fat nacho. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Mm, Philippines are gone. Nice. There's quite a few divisions here. You guys would be able to do anything at all. Um, Air Force, maybe. Just interception stuff. Let's go without stuff for now. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, strike them concessions. Well, give them concessions because we shouldn't collapse now, right? Because we have that one. So, I'm not sure what the whole collapsing is about, though. Hmm. I wish I did know, or did know. Give them more divisions, huh? And the location cities. If you want to about that, please go ahead. That sucks. We actually like the location cities. Uh, not necessarily strong, but they're not necessarily weak either. Help them out, help them out. And then after that one, we'll do influence the Austrian youth. The Kaiser's coup. The Kaiser has been taken kindly to our exile of him, and so he attempted to send an armed contingent of his loyal soldiers to retake Austria from a good Liebenfels. The guards, having been told to stay on watch due to lurking scouts, subdued the soldiers with ease and found Karl not too far away. All of them were dragged away by the police, and what is known to the government is that Karl won't be having the privilege of a very, to a life very, very soon. This is why we exiled you. We lost more stability, more political power. We're doing, of course, Catholic features once again. Um, if you want to do this again, please go right ahead, in which we, I'll be honest, I don't remember exactly what we're doing next. Um, Influence the Austrian Youth, yeah, that was the one. If you want to read that one, please go ahead as well. I'll be honest, before I faded in and faded out, uh, it's been about, like, at least at the time of this recording, probably 10 hours since I last played this, so, my apologies about earlier as well, but, you know, things happen. Um, but yeah, Hungary is very, so close to capitulation. So close. So close. This episode has been very weird. Very washy, I'd say, for me. Now, that should be enough. There we go. Oh, we should have just annexed them. We don't even go to annex the other group. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Hopefully, get cores on them soon. We could really use cores. So now, we can do this as well. And you guys can come on over here and have a good old time with these guys. Hopefully. Hopefully. And you guys go straight on in. Like, screw it. You guys keep these guys in place. We have a good old time here, a good tunnel or close to it, whatever. And so we've lost, we've actually killed off a lot of them. Of course, then again, they've been attacking us kind of like crazy. So attacking crazily right now to these guys is probably a really bad idea. But at the same time, keeping them in place. We got a lot of support coming now, which is very nice. Uh, guns are probably okay. Artillery, we're going to need a lot more. Motorized is fine. Um... Light tanks would be nice. Artillery carrier fighters would be nice as well, so. Um, hey, you made it. Good job, guys. You made it. Kill them all off. 
Lemberg, yes, yes please. Oh, and we have Slovak state, uh, Declaration of Transylvanian state. Uh, Slovak is finally liberated from the lands uh, from the Hungarian hands, but still unstable. While liberating the territory right away would be greatly respected, military advisors tell us that the waiting before we do so might be a bad idea. Uh, we are liberators? No. Declaration of the Transylvanian state. Transylvania is finally liberated from Hungarian lands, but still unable to stay, still unable. Well, that's the exact same thing. Military advisors tell us that waiting before doing so might be a wise idea. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I, I might recommend you guys go in. Hey, that's looking not too bad now. The Bulgaria, yeah. Bulgaria canceled their non-aggression pact with us, which is kind of weird, but I don't want to go to war them up. We got to make sure ourselves are very strong first. Oh, crap. Krakow's the capital. That's actually really not good. Now that's really bad. We should have killed you guys off way earlier. My bad. Yeah, this is going to be super important to get some empire. Um, merge constituent companies. Give the poor a chance. Ooh, we're here. They're here. It's that stability. Ooh, got some mid I like got mid with oh, as much as I want to make a decision now. I'm gonna let you guys decide. Should we do give the poor a chance? It's not bad. Versus give the poor a life in the military, which is also very strong with five percent more recruitable population. Which one do you want to go? Because that will directly influence whether we can do we're here and we're there. Versus Gott mit uns. God is with us. That sounds so good to do. Let me know in the comments below. Which route should we take for both of these? Oh, I like both though. I really like both. Everyone wants to get some infrastructure. We can wait for that one. Um, let's do reform the Army Alba Commando. The Army Alba Commando. A OK. Or oh, Army High Command. Was first formed in 1914. Its task was to unite the different commands of the Common Army, Navy, the Austrian Landwehr, and the Hungarian Honved to direct the war effort. Shortly after the war, however, the AOK was disbanded and our forces were divided once more, recreating the AOK as needed necessary to unite the different different forces. Cool. And you guys are down here too? So keep going in. Do not stop. Do not stop believing. There's a of a Hungarian state. I don't know about that. That seems kind of like a foolish idea, at least to me. Oh, we have oh, all sorts of stuff here. Brute heavy hole, hole, hole. What's the difference between you two? What if we took you and made you better? Ar oh, you're an armor cruiser. No, we're gonna go battleship with you. Slightly slower, but you know, whatever. Nice anti air. Why right, not bad? Not a bad ship. Um, there you go. Do that one. And that's why we're making that other group. Always get some armor just in case we get touched just a little bit because you'll die extremely easily, which is something we want to avoid. God dang it, we can't do that. Meh. What about you? Are you actually a... Oh, well, you actually are. We might have enough here to do this, maybe. We have no... Uh, Yeah, well, I don't know if I'll have enough for this. Oh, there it is. There's seven. Okay, so we're going to change you to this. Five. That's expensive. Yeah, we don't have enough. Um, is that really worth it? Destroyers are nice and all, but I don't really care about those too much. Um, you know what? I guess it can be. Get radar. That's fine. That's fine. Save that for now. Anything for three here? Just a simple upgrade? It's fine. It's not good enough yet. I want to make sure we do well with these ships first. Uh, destroyers? That's fine. Train. Train, no fuel. And reestablishment of Hungarian state. Should we reestablish Hungary? The time on equal this time on equal footing with other crowns of the Empire, rather than a quasi independent pseudo pseudo constituent. Bruh. Bruh. Oh look, the Germans again they're doing kinda of well. Yeah, no. Would y'all like to go in and join them? Got a couple more destroyers coming out, which is fine. Nice. Oh, we're fighting over river into there too, which sucks. But whatever, there's not much we can really do about that. Keep building us up a little more. Even though we don't have cores on the territory, which sucks. But once you do get cores, that'll be really good. Their artillery is very nice. It's almost 1940, of course. Um, yeah, why not? We'll, we'll need those eventually. So.
This is such a god awful grind. It's not even funny, man. Oh my goodness. Afghanistan joined the Istanbul pack. Not bad. Oh, we're looking pretty good. The federal state's looking. Oh, there goes a car. Who's winning here? I'm reckoning you didn't say long so far, but we'll see how far or how long he lasts. What you do need to play is Black Revolt sometime, but. Oh, yeah, the Third International is fighting those guys too. I forgot about that. Um, another comment was I should play as Illyria. Yes, I should. After all the trouble they gave us and all the cheating they do with all the guns, I should try them out. I kind of doubt these guys would have any upgrades, would they? Huh? Kind of sucks. Whatever. Yeah, keep making them shippies for now. Oh. Medium tanks would be good, yes. A lot of mediums. And some anti-air is always very good as well. So. Pretty good. Are we missing anything here? No, we're doing really... Look at those guns. That's just so ridiculous. And someone said, is Kaiser Redux, Kaiser Reichthun? They can be a hassle. Yeah, they can be... Th those... These mods can definitely be a hassle. Sometimes they're just not fun. Because of how much of a hassle they are. But usually they're fun. That's why I, I've dedicated my life to playing Hawaii 4. Man, maybe not, but it seems like it. Um... Ooh... Yeah, go and get the next level of stuff. It's fine. Rubber would not be bad either. Let's grab some rubber. My gosh, this is so annoying. We're doing a good amount of damage. Not great, but it's a good amount. So, propaganda leaflets. I'm thinking here. Do we take out the Reds? Or do we take out the Russians? Or take out pretty much everybody around us? Actually, that might be a more fun idea. Because we have our own faction, the Dornet Adrian we have the third international now, but I do want to defeat the Reich's Pact, so let's see what Moscow does. I don't mind it. I mean, I would honestly probably prefer it if we could take out the Reds and then take out the Reich's Pact. I kind of honestly would prefer that, but yeah. Kill Albush. Well, we got to kill up literally all of his manpower first, so. Ugh, this is annoying. Um, does this place have any forts? No, they don't. So that would be kind of a waste. Mongolian Khanate's gone. Anything there? Anything special? Anything special? No, not really, no. That sucks. This really sucks. Yeah, Moscow Accord. I do want to take them out, though, but... Hmm. We could take out Italy. I don't want to take out Germany. I want them to suffer, and... How did you guys not explode yet? Adolf Friedrich. The Africa Herzog. Huh. But yeah, I want to see these Reds die first, and then... Take out the Germans. I, I don't want to fight the Russians by myself. There's no way I want to do that. How do they get so many guns? I mean, that, that's that's more reasonable than what we saw earlier, but still. Come to Krakow. What, 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 what can we do here? There's literally nothing we can do. Uh, actually, is Poland in the right spec? Dang it, they are. Um, I literally don't know of any other way that we can actually fight these guys off. Hmm. It's a map. Oh, some mobilizing too, which is not bad. Ultra nationalistic armed forces and rule of Osterreichische Aerosophische Einheitspartei. Okay, let's focus, finish this focus first, and then maybe I'll finish this war off screen. This is getting kind of dumb. So. But getting those cores is going to be so helpful. 55,000 versus half a million guys. Really, bro. I mean, obviously, we could probably just like hang out and let them come into our lands, and then we can kill them off that way, but where's the fun in that? Construct the airway, air bases, steel. Uh, construct the Belga Bites Air Research Facility. Cool. And then we'll do this one. And off screen, I'll probably go ahead and do. Well, either one you want me to do here. Don't forget the people. Probably already have. Um, Skoda, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not going to help us out that much. Infrastructure. It's not bad either. But I think we'll probably do. Since we're doing. Superior firepower, right? Yeah, we're doing superior firepower for this campaign. Uh, Hickman's superior firepower. General Major Engineer Emil Hickman, the member of the general staff, believes that the army should be focused on getting a te technical edge against the monarchy's enemies. As the Valkyrie remains a traumatic experience, limiting casualties is of the utmost importance. And Hickman believes that improved fire support and equipment is key in modern warfare, but... Unfortunately, that's going to conclude today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please do consider helping me out and leave a like! Leave a like for our good old leader, uh, Jörg Lanz von Liebenfeld. Subscribe if you are, as some might say, new here. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we will do our best and probably make a decision on who we're going to kill off in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great. Record everything. Rest of your day.